India recently marked a significant achievement with the announcement of 63% indigenization of the AL 31 FP engine, which powers the Su 30 MKI fighter jets. This milestone highlights the country's growing ability to manufacture and develop high performance jet engines domestically, a crucial aspect of reducing dependence on foreign technology and defense. This development not only strengthens India's self reliance, but also has potential implications for the ambitious Kaveri engine project. Connection to the Kaveri engine project. The Kaveri engine, designed to power India's indigenous fighter aircraft, the Tejas, has faced numerous technical challenges since its inception. Although it showed promise, the engine struggled to meet the required performance standards for fighter jet applications, particularly in terms of thrust generation and reliability. The lessons learned from the indigenization of the AL 31 FP engine could be instrumental in addressing the remaining hurdles in the Kaveri engine project. The AL 31 FP program demonstrates India's ability to reverse engineer, adapt, and manufacture complex turbofan engines. The knowledge and manufacturing expertise gained from this process, ranging from metallurgy to precision manufacturing and testing, could be transferred to the development of future indigenous jet engines like the Kaveri. Additionally, the supply chain and local industry developed to support AL 31 FP production can be leveraged to accelerate the progress of the Kaveri engine. Breaking the myth of engine scaling. A common misconception in engineering, especially in aerospace, is that scaling a jet engine is a straightforward process. The myth suggests that once you have the blueprint of a smaller or a larger engine, simply resizing it will suffice to meet different aircraft requirements. In reality, scaling jet engines is a highly complex engineering challenge that involves much more than adjusting dimensions. Jet engines, particularly turbofans like the AL, 31FP, and Kaveri, are highly sensitive to changes in fluid dynamics, temperature gradients, and material stress. When an engine is scaled up or down, these factors change dramatically. Let's explore how this works using some fundamental engineering concepts. Dimensional analysis and fluid mechanics. One of the key challenges in scaling engines lies in the realm of dimensional analysis. In simple terms, dimensional analysis is a way of comparing physical quantities by analyzing the units and dimensions involved. When we scale an engine, we aren't just dealing with proportions. The flow of air, heat transfer, and pressure gradients inside the engine change in nonlinear ways. For example, in a jet engine, the speed of air through the engine, the compression ratios in the compressor, and the heat generated in the combustion chamber all depend on the engine size. When we scale the engine, the Reynolds number, a dimensionless number used to predict flow patterns in different fluid flow situations, also changes. This affects how the air moves through the engine's internal components. Scaling up an engine means increased airflow, which demands that components like compressors and turbines handle higher pressures and temperatures. The material used in these components must withstand the resulting stress and thermal loads without increasing weight too much. If the engine is scaled down, the opposite problems arise. Airflow becomes less efficient, and maintaining adequate thrust becomes a challenge. Structural Engineering and Material Strength Another critical factor when scaling engines is structural engineering. The engine's components must withstand significant forces, particularly during takeoff when maximum thrust is required. A larger engine doesn't just face higher forces from the air moving through it. It also has to deal with the thermal expansion of its materials, which can cause warping, cracking, or failure. Materials that work well in a small engine may not perform as expected in a larger engine because their thermal properties and strength-to-weight ratios change with size. In fact, the stresses on a turbofan engine scale disproportionately with size, meaning that a minor increase in engine dimensions could lead to a much larger increase in the forces acting on the materials. This explains why scaling an engine for higher thrust or different aircraft requires careful consideration of material science and advanced stress analysis. Implications for the Kaveri engine For the Kaveri engine project, understanding and addressing these scaling issues is key. As India looks to build engines for a variety of fighter jets and potentially unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs), the ability to scale engine designs appropriately will be crucial. By learning from the AL, 31FP success, 
and applying advanced principles in fluid mechanics, structural engineering, and dimensional analysis, Indian engineers can optimize the Kaveri engine for future use. The indigenization of the AL 31FP is not just about replicating foreign technology, it's about building a foundation for the future of Indian jet engine manufacturing. With the right blend of technology transfer, research, and indigenous innovation, the success of this project could propel India toward building world-class engines that are competitive on a global scale. Conclusion The indigenization of the AL 31 FP engine marks a pivotal moment in India's aerospace development. Not only does it reduce reliance on foreign suppliers, but it also provides a roadmap for future indigenous projects like the Kaveri engine. Breaking the myth of jet engine scaling, we see how challenges in fluid mechanics, structural integrity, and material science all play a role in making engines work across different scales. With these engineering principles in mind, India is poised to overcome the hurdles that have held back the Kaveri engine project. The next decade could see India emerge as a leader in aerospace innovation, with indigenous engines powering its next generation of fighter aircraft.